Everyone knows that Israel is continuously bombing Gaza from the sky. But what is unexpected is that they will bomb it to this extent. The defense minister of Israel has said something. We are not going to bomb Gaza to the extent that we can't even imagine. I have given the permission to our soldiers to do whatever they want. He has spoken very bluntly. Israel is still trying to enter Gaza. They are accumulating. It is like a big storm is entering. There are still three locks of people around Gaza. The total length of Gaza is only 40 kilometers. 20 locks of people are living there. 20 locks of people don't have internet, electricity, water to drink. They have cut the water supply. There is no electricity. They are destroying everything. They have destroyed the common apartments where the people live. Many people have lost their families. Some families have been completely destroyed. There is no internet, no electricity. There is nothing to say to the people inside. There is nothing to say to the people outside. When Israel is destroying Gaza to this extent, all the countries in the world are standing by Israel. Including India. But in international affairs, no country will emotionally take a decision. A situation where you stand by your friend will never happen in international affairs. If there is an international relationship between the two countries, there will be a thousand reasons for it. India is now standing by Israel. India's Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, has spoken to the Prime Minister of Israel on the phone. He has also tweeted. He has said that Indian people stand with Israel. We are going to see both. We are going to see what is happening between Gaza and Israel. The reason why India is supporting Israel is that India is not suddenly supporting Israel. It is a relationship that has been building for many years. But once upon a time, Israel and India had a lot of problems. But since the time of the watchdog, India and Israel have become more attached. Why is this happening? There is a third and very difficult thing. A person is beating someone in a place. Only one person has the key to escape. That one country is Egypt. Because Gaza has one side of the sea, Israel on the top, Israel on the side. They can only escape below. Only that one place is near Egypt. Egypt is also an Islamic country. What should Egypt have done? They should have given asylum to the people there. They could have included them as refugees. But what did Egypt do? They blocked the road and only allowed one or two people inside. They said that our security is important in our country. They kept that blockade. Think about it. People from all over the country cannot run anywhere. There is no electricity. There is no internet. There is no flight. There is no ship. They have completely closed the roads. They have closed all the roads, they are shooting bullets from the sky. Around three lock people are waiting for weapons. The army of a country is waiting to go inside. They are going to destroy everything inside. That is what they are saying. There are many things that I did not tell you. We will see all this in detail in the last 24 hours. Before we start watching that, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. Then I will make such videos. Daily, whether it is Israel, Palestine, or Gaza, I will keep you updated. I can tell you what is happening in a single video. You will know what is happening immediately. Now let's get started. Hello everyone. I am Worldpedia. Hello my dear friends. First thing. I will tell you what is happening now in 24 hours. Israel is inside Palestine. Specifically, this strip called Gaza. This is a 40 km piece of land. In this land, an organization called Hamas was working. Hamas was working. 
This Hamas organization is a part of 20 lakh people. This is the opinion of Israel. So what they did is, Hamas organized an attack on Israel. The number of attacks was 700. But all this started last Saturday. Hamas organized an attack on Israel. The number of attacks is increasing day by day. Now it is more than 1,000. When Hamas organized an attack, the number of attacks is increasing day by day. The reason is, all the villages on the border are being visited by the army of Israel. Many hospitals are injured. Many families have been burnt. These are all CCTV footage. I am telling you, there are two types of war. One is the real war. The other is the international war. To convince them, the media is like a propagation machine. The media is a force to be reckoned with. The media is a force to be reckoned with. Because Israel is literally going to attack another country. They are attacking a country. They know that they cannot escape and that there are people there. But they are attacking the country because it is their security. They want to show the world that they have made a huge loss. The media war is being done by Israel. They are showing all the visuals on social media like Twitter and Instagram. They are showing what happened to Israel. They are showing what they have done to Israel. The latest news they are sharing is, when Hamas came in, many people from the villages on the border were burnt. The four people in the family were burnt. They showed the bodies. They showed the bodies. Yesterday, the news said that the children were beheaded. Many people reacted immediately. I was also shocked. On the other hand, they say that it is not true. So we do not know. We can only know what is happening on the ground when a war is going on. Sometimes, this kind of propagation happens before and after. We saw this when we went to Russia and Ukraine. Anyway, whatever has been done, Hamas has attacked Israel, the victims are there. The calculation that Hamas has done. So far is, whatever attack they do, they will catch the people and take them back. They will keep them as hostages. They will release them if they do this. They will release them if they do not beat them. They will have a negotiation. This time, they have not only caught them and the Israelis. They have caught hundreds of people. There are 15 people from Thailand. There are families from America. There are people from many countries. There are Germans, Italians, French. They have taken them from a party. A music party. A music concert. They have come from many countries. It is easy to commute from that side. Many people have come from Europe. Since they have caught everyone, the people in the families are pressuring Israel to release them. Israel is very clear. If they release them, they will ask Hamas not to beat them. They will ask them to go back. Israel is saying that they are going to stop this forever. Hamas should not be there. They are claiming that they are a terrorist organization. If they claim that, they are claiming that they have taken everything from them. On the other hand, what is Hamas doing they were attacking for the first two days. Now, there is no attack. One or two things are happening there. But Hamas is not attacking. I don't know if Hamas is still there. But so many bombs are falling on Gaza. As I explained in yesterday's video, they have completely surrounded the Gaza. You can see the map of Gaza. It is a small strip of land. It is 40 kilometers in length. You cannot go into the sea. If you go a little further, Israel has their troops. You cannot go into the sea. If you look at the two sides, you can see the borders of Israel. They have built a wall of seven feet to prevent people from entering. In fact, 
Gaza is the world's biggest open-air prison. I am not saying this. The Prime Minister of the UK has said this. I will explain why he said this. Boris Johnson has said this. Gaza was like a jail for the Palestinians for so many years. We had discussed this when we made a video before. We had discussed this two years ago. It is wrong to follow Hamas now. There is no doubt about that. But the Palestinian people have been facing a lot of atrocities for many years. The Palestinian people in Gaza have been surrounded by since 2005. If they want to work, they can only work in Israel. They can only work in Israel. Israel dictates when they can go back to Israel. When they work, they cannot negotiate how much salary they should get. Because there are fewer jobs and there are more people. So, it is in their control. Electricity flows from Israel. Water flows from Israel. Food flows from Israel. Israel has all the controls. It is like a sketch because there is no way one country or the other. Since both sides are in Israel, they have cut off electricity and water. There is no drinking water. There is no water supply. There is no drinking water or water supply from Israel. They have cut off the internet. They have cut off the power for 11 hours. And they have cut off the gas power. There is only one power plant in Gaza. They have cut off that power plant yesterday. In the last 48 hours, people in Gaza are in the dark. They do not know the light. There is no guarantee on the houses. If a Hamas leader is in Israel, they can destroy the houses. They can destroy one house. But the other 100 houses are destroyed. The press is asking why they are doing this to Israel. They are asking who is Hamas leader and who is common people. They are asking who is Hamas leader and who is common people. They are asking who is Hamas leader and who is common people. Hamas leader is 100% wrong. Israel is ready to destroy the houses of Hamas leader. They have called three locks of reservist forces and have built a 40 kilometers border around Gaza. They are saying it is not only a border. It is not just a border. They have automatic guns. They have big guns. If someone comes, they can shoot with artificial intelligence. They have set up like that. They have guns near the Israeli settlement. Hamas leader went to this place and did this because they have a huge amount of money. UK has said it is a problem. UK has said it is a problem. UN has condemned it. Many countries have pressured Israel to stop this. Hamas leader has entered into a terrorist attack. One thing is that many people who supported Israel and Palestine have been opposed. This is happening now. We expected that they would have entered yesterday. They have clearly said that they will enter before they enter. It is only 40 kilometers from the sky. It is a very small place. They will enter. After they have become a skeleton. Many people will be affected. What happened to the lives of 20 lock people we have to see what happens to the population. What is the problem with Egypt? Egypt is the third land border to Gaza. Everyone expected that the problem with Israel would be solved. Israel has said that people should go to Gaza to fight Hamas. Egypt has said that. Egypt has blocked the entry of 20 lakh people. Egypt has blocked the entry of 20 lakh people. Only one or two people are allowed to enter. People are trapped. The bombs are falling from the sky. Tomorrow night or today night, a whole army will enter the city and search for Hamas. This is what has happened. What is India's stand? India and Israel had a bad relationship. Because Jews were crossing the borders. Due to the problem of Hitler. 
Mahatma Gandhi was talking about nonviolence and apologizing to Jews. But, that did not work. Imagine, when a person is beating a person from his home, how can you apologize to them you cannot accept that? So, there was a problem. Next, from the beginning of Israel, Israel did not support India. India did not support Israel. When the UN resolution was passed in 1948, India voted against it. The government of Nehru was against it. After that, till 1990s, India and Israel did not have a bond. But, after 1990s, India and Israel started to see some terrorist organizations. As common enemies. Both of them were in Asia. When both of them were common enemies, India and Israel's relationship increased. Especially, security was increased. India got a big benefit. India got more money in trade with Israel. Because, Israel was giving more goods to Israel than us. So, it was a surplus for India. It was around 900 million. That business was doing well for India. The current Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, went to Israel when he was the Chief Minister. He was fascinated by Israel. Now, Israel's Prime Minister, Netanyahu, who was the Prime Minister even before, went to meet the Prime Minister. He talked about the development of Gujarat. He is also the Prime Minister. They have a personal relationship. Now, Netanyahu does not have time to talk to many leaders. Because, his country is in a war. But, he called Modi and gave an update. Indian Prime Minister tweeted Netanyahu spoke to me. India and Indian people completely stand with Israel. If you ask me, if India took this decision emotionally, definitely not. There is no such thing as emotional decision in international affairs. Whatever Modi and Netanyahu are, it is not a matter. India is doing well or not, it is not a matter of good or bad. Give petrol to India. Russia is going to Ukraine. Russia is doing wrong. I need petrol. International relationship is that. Every country will see their own self-interest. Today, America is completely against Pakistan. Pakistan has gone to China. But, not for many years. Ten years ago, America and Pakistan were good friends. So, it changes with time. Russia and India have a good relationship. But, if you ask Russia, if India is China, they will choose India. There are very few options. Because, Russia's dependency is more on China. So, international affairs is that. One thing is difficult. One country, 20 lock people, like an open air prison, with walls built around it, continuously from the sky, for a single mistake, all the people are being punished. That is difficult. But, there are Palestinians. What did they do wrong it was very difficult when I saw some visuals. It was very difficult. The way it was difficult to see the visuals in Israel, there are bigger visuals than that. But, not many come out. Because, a country is being destroyed. But, the visuals do not come out. So, they cut the internet and network. But, there are some visuals beyond that. Completely broken houses. It is very difficult to see all that. Not only the broken houses, but also what is inside the houses. I don't know how many people are buried. Because, if you have to take them to the hospital, there is no electricity in the hospital. How will you save them? Doctors are dying. Journalists are dying. If you tell the truth, many journalists are dying. Al Jazeera's journalist is dead. Because, they are a big news agency. 
they are the only ones who are telling what is happening in Gaza. Some people have died because of that. It is a crazy time to be alive. I can see that. Tonight, Israel is expected to enter Gaza. They are expecting this every day. But, now, America is sending another warship. They are planning to send more weapons. Is Israel still waiting for the supply? We don't know what is happening. Tonight, again, the third night, for Gaza people, it is going to be even more difficult. I will see you in another video tomorrow. Bye. Take care. If you like this video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please watch the other videos. If you like it, please subscribe. Thank you so much, my dear friends, for watching all my videos and supporting my channel. Until I come back with my next awesome video, it's bye bye from Worldpedia. Stay safe, stay positive, stay active, and stay fit. And always dream big in your life. We should believe that we can achieve anything, anywhere, my dear friends. And, as I always say, please take care of your parents at home. Take care of your parents at home, my dear friends. Thank you. Bye-bye.